right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to install the uh, carbon fiber string wheel here it goes so what you will be needing is this small thing right here it's an uh, allen wrench key which I don't know if you can see it from here but there's a small hole here this one fits you want to go ahead and uh, disconnect the battery first and make sure you align the wheel right now mine's not perfectly aligned so I'm gonna try my best to uh, do this thing right now I'm gonna cut this for now and uh, I'll try to remove this so I already disconnected the I mean remove the two bolts so this this two right here side by side now what you want to do is just lift this thing up this is actually the air bug just have to lift this thing and then if you could see those wires you just have to disconnect all of it so it's gonna come out so i'm gonna try to pause it again i'm gonna go ahead and remove all of this So here you go guys, as you can see I've already removed the steering wheel, taking out all the parts that needed to be installed in the carbon fiber steering wheel. So what you want to do first is you want to go ahead and remove this whole area right here. Uh, for that you're going to have to uh, need a prying tool, so you want to start with this one right here there's actually some brackets uh, i don't know how do you call this thing but there's something that you need to pop from here both on these sides and one from here as well uh, you just want to have to be careful because there's a rubber thing going on just pop it out easily nice and slow and then something here as well so you have to remove all of this and then after that you're going to want to have to remove the uh, the audio control and then the uh, paddle shifter on both sides and then lift this one up so you can easily transfer all of those into the new uh, steering wheel there you go and then, so now all of my stuff has been removed. Sorry about that. It's all dismantled. What I'm gonna do is, I'm going to keep this steering wheel for the future. I don't know, maybe if I will sell this or keep it for, or maybe put it back to stock. Yeah, so I'm gonna keep it and wrap it with the uh, cling wrap. So this is how it looks like. This is the original steering wheel of the Honda City GM6 VX. It's a leather. There you go. I don't know how much you can, if you sell this, how much it would cost, but yeah, it's a light one. It's a really a good one. Sorry about the background and for the noise. I have my Warriors here. If you guys are interested in buying an English Bulldog as well, Hit me up. That's a male right there. It's a female. And female as well. And a female. So, there you go, guys. Let's go back to the uh, steering wheel thing. Alright, now that I have the steering wheel mounted to the steering column, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to put on the wirings. This one's the ground. This one is for the airbag, which is going to go later on. 
I have to connect all of this stuff. This one I've already connected. The uh, the uh, audio control and then the uh, paddle shifter. It's already connected. I don't know if you can see it from here. There you go, this white one. This white one. And then the other side as well. Right there. This one's already connected, so it took me a while so to remove this bracket right. I mean, this uh, bolt right here. It's the one that sticks in the middle. It's very tough. I mean, you need a lot of strength to remove this because I think this one's glued up, and it's a big wrench. It's a uh, Allen wrench, ten millimeter. So, well, uh, sorry. By the way, make sure to have the battery disconnected start from the negative and then the uh, positive I'm gonna show you guys later on how to uh, put it back so for now I'm gonna pause the video and I'm going to install the air I have to put the ground back this one right here Remember guys, it's only a DIY. I don't have all the stuff to use. I only have some tools. So as you can see, I am using a tube, which I cut into pieces so that I can easily move. Going in and out. <sighs> Make sure to tighten this one up because this is actually tight when I took it out. So there you go. That should be enough for now. Then I'm gonna go back to the, uh, what do you call this? The airbag. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect everything now. First up, what I'm going to do is Put this thing back into pieces. It's gonna be a tough one. I just have to pause for a while because I might hit the camera. I'm just going to pause for a while. All right, there you go, guys. I just put the last touch on. Put the last two screws. The one that holds the uh, airbag. You got one here on the right side and one down here on the left side. If you're going to do this on your own, be careful. To use the proper tool because what happened on the other bolt with the wrench it got rounded up so i was having a hard time removing this thing so make sure to use the right one don't go for the cheap ones all right there you go so let me just give you a pick of what i've done here so far it's such a mess right now in this car so first thing that i did was change the uh, shift, shift knob and then the uh, handbrake now I have to reattach this as well let's continue to work on because the sensor is pretty sensitive so I have to remove that one again and then just reattach it and then the next one the last one that I did was I went ahead to remove 
the steering wheel and replace it with the carbon fiber one. So there you go. Hope you guys like the video and uh, please like and subscribe. If you have a chance, then uh, also please put a comment below. Let's see what we can uh, talk about or let's see what's the next video. See you guys, y'all have a good one. Stay safe out there. All right, so here you go guys. So now let's reattach the battery. You wanna start with the positive terminal first. There you go. By the way, I'm using a different battery. I went with the 2SM. Next one's gonna be the negative terminal. There we go. Now I'm just gonna tighten it all up and uh, I hope there's no uh, airbag warning all the, or, or stuff. There you go. See you guys in the next one. Okay guys, moment of truth. Let's try to turn on the uh, engine. Hopefully there's no warnings inside or whatever. All right, here we go. There you go. Airbag is on. Now it's off. All right, cool. Start the engine. Something's really wrong with the uh, handbrake. It's really uh, loose. It keeps coming. As you can see with that one. It keeps popping. It's moving it sideways. So I'm gonna have to go ahead and fix this one. There we go. I'll see you guys.